aim trainers. This seemingly is the hot topic right now, with aim labs just throwing out sponsorships left, right, and center, with the release of Valorant, with everyone recommending. Aim Labs, use my link on Aim Labs, twitch.tv slash Wardell. Go to my channel. Fuck that guy on the channel. Fuck that other motherfucker's channel. But. Honestly, no one really talks about how to utilize this software and even if they do, there is no real system I found personally online which allowed me to transfer my skills that I learned in Aim Labs to Valorant. Let me give you a bit of a backstory about myself. Hey, I'm aggressive. I've been playing FPS games for almost 6 years now and my first real FPS game was Paladins Champions of the Realm where I have gotten to Grandmaster and played at a semi-professional level, I guess? With the SE scene being quite dead and Hyra's not really doing anything for the game. I don't know, I just had to get off that game. I recently made the shift to Valorant and honestly, there, honestly with no Counter-Strike experience, it was one of the hardest moves I ever did in my life. I always believed that I had good aim as I reached Grandmaster and Paladins and my aim was more or less praised in the game but honestly after switching to Valorant I just saw how much I lacked when it came to raw aiming and I 90% of it I blame the fact that Paladins had chunky chunga style hitboxes. That's quite big. Impressive but everyone, when I asked them how to improve my aim, they recommended me aim trainers. But when I tried them, yes, I got really good high scores, but I was never really able to apply any of them to my games. I missed shots and just kept dying horribly. I kept practicing and still nothing. Until I finally found an effective way of training and applying what I learned. Aim training is like studying. You can get a degree, but the degree won't even matter unless you know how to apply the knowledge you gained and hopefully today I'll help you learn as well as apply what you learned while you train to become the aimbot that you were meant to be. So here I'm going to be talking about the 100 hours that I spent on aim labs and how I transferred the skills I got there to Valorant and FPS games in general. Before we talk about anything else, we need to first establish what I like to call the minor flick zone. What is this zone exactly? It's a range of which we can flick the most accurately and this range varies from person to person depending on their physical capabilities and their sensitivities. For me personally, this is my flick range where I can be the most accurate. And I'm slowly trying to grow this as more time passes, but the main thing you need to understand is that this is all done by your wrist and not your arm. Wrist aiming in general is the most accurate form of aiming as we always have control of how far our wrist moves which is easier compared to our arm. This method is best for people that have lower sensitivities as micro adjustments are easier for people with lower sense compared to those with higher sense. Our general settings. What? What the fuck? This is important to manage and no, as you can always plan your engagements as each person has a different side that they're stronger in in comparison being left or right when it comes to flicking. For me personally, my left is stronger than my right so as Valorant is a game where social distancing is sadly not possible as most of your gunfights are up close and personal in the enemy's face. Here's the place where most players will struggle and honestly people who grind only grit shot will have a hard time in general in such situations. Here's where microflex comes into play. This task in aim labs for me, at least, is the hardest to do and the most tiring due to the nature of the task itself as it forces me to expand my flick zone, but once you practice enough and form a strategy to always give you the best chance to win by forcing the enemy into your flick zone, you will gain the confidence and the reaction speed required to instantly get the headshot those pesky enemies who do not maintain social distancing rules that we should all follow. In the background are some clips of me micro adjusting at close range and I was able to grow my flick zone by just practicing a lot of micro flex and this in turn will also make your personal zone that you already established previously to be even stronger and much more accurate. Eye training. We all focus on one thing and one thing only when it comes to training 
it's mainly our mouse control. But honestly, there are more things you need to train as well as your mouse control, being your eyesight. One of the secrets to faster reaction time is eye tracking, meaning when you track your targets with your eyes instead of your crosser. When you have the sense of the center of your screen and you track your opponents with your eyes instead, you can flick and get the headshot at a much more faster pace. The inhuman reaction shots that we admit people do is a result of their hand-eye coordination being at its peak. And this can be trained from doing these type of training drills in aim labs. And let me just talk you right through them. Firstly, let's talk about the statement that I st said before, being reaction time. Most people think that reaction time can be trained. It's a genetic thing. And I can never be faster. He just has better twitch-like reflexes. What if I told you that there is a way to make yourself faster without much practice? The true secret to being faster is to just simply focus on color change instead of what exactly is appearing on your screen. For example, in the clip, I just watch for the enemy to come in and I have my color set to yellow because my brain uh, reacts to yellow a lot quicker. I can instantly just pull the trigger before they can even react. As I'm just focusing on the color change occurring at my screen, instead of thinking of what character is going to be coming up instead. The best way to train this is to play timing shot on aim labs. And just drill this in in your regular practice routines that I will stay below for like five minutes, and you will see amazing improvements. And trust me, you will grow this uh, grow this into a habit in Valorant as well. Because when it comes to Valorant, literally everyone's just a training aim last time. Doesn't matter if you're a walking stick boomer or a butt clenching zoomer. Anything is possible if you have the proper technique. Initially, I talked about eye training. Now it's time to further develop the basics you are learning. Then comes the concept of click timing. What do I mean exactly by this? Well, it's the feeling of having your target in your crosser vicinity. Instead of actually focusing on your crosser, you're focusing on your target's movement as they're moving into the center of your screen. You need to train yourself in a way that consolidates this translation of perception to action into your own muscle memories. It will become a reflex in a way that you don't even need to think about it and you're going to be able to react a lot quicker. And personally, the best way to train this is through the use of six shot on aim labs. Remember when I said that my brain perceives yellow better? The same can apply to the color of your preference, so do test out and see what suits your fancy the most as you try this scenario. Yes, this scenario is extremely difficult, but when you can improve speeds and get faster and faster through just a simpler process. Initially, don't try and be Lightning McQueen trying to zip through targets one after the next. You're not going to improve that way. Take your time, focus on your targets, not your crosser, and only when you flick and you are sure that you're in the vicinity of the circle, then focus on your crosser for a split second and then make the small micro adjustments that you need. This process at first will take a long time, but the more you sp uh, more you train, the more you build yourself to make this into a habit, it will get a lot more easier. It will become a subconscious thought. Just think of this like walking for the first time. It was difficult, but the more we did it, it became a subconscious thought. And aiming and improvement is just that. It's all a process that we can grow to be subconscious through repetition if we know what we are doing. That's the basic gist of how to transfer your aiming skills that you gain in aim labs to Valorant and it's gonna turn your shots from looking like this Here we go! Hello there! Mission complete! Now to this But to help you out on your journey, I'll leave you with a couple more tips that should make the grind easier on aim labs. First of all, do not grip your mouse really tightly. I know you want to grip it tight like as if you're holding your first newborn baby, but in the game of Valorant you don't only have to flick, but you also have to control your recoil, unlike in aim labs which is just a point and click scenario. This is really important to remember as if you have a tight grip in aim labs, the same grip is going to translate over to Valorant making spray control as well as tracking while spraying really difficult. So there, there you need to try and keep a decent firm grip on your mouse while keeping your arm flexible so that you can have proper control when you flick and when you track people. 
Then comes the concept of how long you should train. I'm a strong believer that you should never grind aim labs like a no life grinding for like 8 hours a day at times. You're not gonna see gains that way. At the bare minimum, at the bare maximum sorry, you should be doing only 45 minutes a day. If not, you're just deteriorating your aim that you're already growing. And this does not really help because your arm just feels like gummy bears after and you're just gonna have a really bad night. Therefore, you should always try and train after a full days of Valorant grind or the day you're not even playing Valorant. Or if a person whips so hard that you can't even sleep through the night, just better tr grind aim labs at that time just to get your mind off of that. And that's that for this video. I need to thank you all for watching the video and for the previous support you gave me. The shift from being a paladin to Valorant content creator was a big and heavy step for me and for once I feel accomplished with this video coming out. I'm really proud of this. Please do let me know on what I should make next. Let it be a movement or positioning guide on Valorant. It's gonna be your call. I hope you all enjoyed and please do leave a like and subscribe to help the channel and also get notified for future content because I'm going to be making a load of more guides and a lot of funny moments videos as well as time passes. I need to leave a special thanks though to all of my friends on screen who have helped me out with both the ideas and reviewing all of my work. None of this would have been possible without any of them and I owe them a lot for this. Do check out the links in the description for my Discord and my playing Discord where you can catch me just playing with my friends, goofing around or just shouting at people in ranked for all week here. Early Merry Christmas to everyone and I hope you all are having an amazing grind and an amazing day and I'll be catching you all in the next one soon enough. Don't get to say goodbye Or it's in the pain inside You You Eternal side of my mind Or Joel and then you'll die <laughs>